the parents, the pupils as well, and the community help each other. We call this the Bayanihan system. In our dialect, it is what we call Ugugfu. So we're surrounded here by over a ton of trash. Each of these bottles is about a quarter kilo to half a kilo. And uh, there's over, it was almost 2,000 bottles here today. Before, there was trash all over. And the last time, maybe two months ago, I came to visit Ginang and I was just, whoa, there's so much trash around here, it's getting worse. So we introduced the bottle bricks as the core way to build. And within a month, the change was dramatic. So there's no more garbage on the, on the road. Then the teachers ran into this problem where there was no more garbage in the community. So they would go to Bone Talk to buy their vegetables, they'd go to Bone Talk for meetings, and they would come back with the trash from their conferences, from their meetings, from their friends down there to give to the kids so they could pack it. The municipality of Bone Talk was sued by an NGO from Kalinga, the province of Kalinga, because they were concerned about the trash flowing from the Chico River onto the river in Kalinga. And Russell was uh, suggesting that maybe we can help solve the garbage problem of this community. So we got our students to start getting some trash from store owners and put them into these uh, bottles. And I also started buying some bottles just to start with the project. The president of the Montauk Market Vendors Association was interested and had all the vendors in the town market yeah, Russell, uh, start with this brick bottle project. And so everybody was kind of doing it. So I went down to my members. I said, here's the solution of our problem of cellophane. We have to put it here. Uh, according to Joel, Russell, a Canadian, uh, is needing 4,000 bricks to be built uh, libra library in Ginaang. So uh, I said to my members, uh, we have to collect the waste. We put it here. The people, when they, are, when they come to buy to the market, they say, what are you doing? Why don't you just sell your vendors? Why, well, what is wasting of time? But then we said, no, this is the solution of the problem. It seems people are laughing at us, but now maybe now when they see this one. Now they're inspired. And so now here we're working with Bottle Bricks to build an inspiration center, a center that uh, it's not a square classroom, it's a circular classroom. The idea of the circular inspiration center is that the books are all accessible, tablets on the sides of the walls for interaction, and uh, kids can just come, the youth can come and interact with all that, the adults can come also uh, and learn on their own. The space will be surrounded by a beautiful medicinal herb garden, uh, permaculture examples, uh, all sorts of things, so that it really becomes a self-learning empowerment place where no one's telling you what to learn, no one's telling you what to do. You can just interact with the space and discover what you wish.